It's five o'clock on a Wednesday. It's time for Craig and Ryland Magic Review Show. I'm Ryland. I'm Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you messed that one up there. So I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. You had to check, didn't you? <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the review show. We have some amazing products for you right now, and we're going to open up the show by talking about Joseph B. Uh, because Joseph B. Um, is a guy that we've uh, reviewed a few of his products now, haven't we? And we reviewed Fula Fula Fula. Neither one of us liked it. We gave it a really bad review. It then was in the top 10 worst tricks of 2020. And then we even did an honest trailer on it. It was terrible. And I stand by that decision. But it seems like Joseph B had got a lot of supporters. And they all said to me, you need to check out Automated ACAD. It's brilliant. It shows what this guy, Joseph B, is all about. So I did what you guys said. I go check out... Uh, automated ACAN, which you and I both watched and learned, and we're going to look at that and review it right now. So like I said, the first review is Automated ACAN by Joseph B. He claims that this is the best and easiest ACAN or any card at any number of all time. It is a download. I found it on Penguin Magic. We watched it. It's a 20 minute download. You learned it. I learned it. You're going to perform it. And then we're going to talk about what we think. So let's have a look at the performance right now. Go. Right, I've got a pack of cards. Shall I put the box away for you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take out the Joker. Okay. So where's the Joker? The black and white Joker, I'm going to go for that one there. Okay, I'll put it there for you. Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to know that there's numbers on the back of the other side. Okay. On the back. So we've got 47 and an 8. We've got 24... 29. 29. We've got 38. Okay, I get, I get the idea. There's numbers on okay. the back. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. What I want you to do is I want you to pick a card. And how you're going to pick your card is you're going to put the joker in between one of them. So I can put it anywhere? Yeah. Anywhere at all? Yeah. I'm going to put it right there. Do you want the two of clubs or the three of hearts? Three of hearts. Three of hearts. Yes, please. Okay. There you go. Okay. You want the three of hearts? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to, like, pick up a, quart, a third and put it and put it there. There? Okay. Yeah, fair enough. And then put another third there. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put your card back and then put it random. Somewhere random. Okay, that's fair. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, do you want to cut it? Yeah. You can cut it how much times you want. Cut it again? Yeah, how much time, How many times do you want? So I can just cut this as many times as I want to? Yeah. I can keep cutting until like everybody's sick of me cutting at home. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm good. You're good. Uh-huh. Okay. Now remember that you've cut the cards. You picked a ram that to me. Before we do that, I want you to pick a number. Any number? Yes, any number. That one there? That one. F 41? No. I want to go that one. That one. 12. Yeah? Okay, you're on 12. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, remember that you've cut the cards. You picked the card. You've, you've picked a number. Yeah. You've cut. Yeah. That's Look. fair. Yes. And I chose 12. Yes. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The th is a three of hearts. That's my card, that dude. With your card. <laughs> very, very good. So that is the automated day count. Now, Rye, do you actually fully understand how this trick works? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I, I don't fully understand why this trick works, but it does. We were watching the download, and, and the download's about 20 minutes long. We're actually both fooled. Yeah, we're fooled why we're actually putting this trick together. Um, it, it's like a 25-minute download. It comes with a couple of PDFs, uh, and, and, and the PDFs tell you how to set up the deck. It's just a regular pack of cards, and you have to write on, on every single card or pretty much every single card and then set it up in a particular order. As long as you do that and you follow the instructions that are... It, it's self-working, isn't it? I mean, how easy is this? Easy. As soon as we watched it, we were able to do it to each other. But genuinely, I don't actually understand why this works. 
It does, and it is really clever. I, I, my hat is off to you, Joseph B. I really do like this. I think this is really clever. And there's a few reasons why I do it. You like it as well, don't you? Yeah. There's a few reasons why I like it. First of all, easy, check, right? Very, very easy. Also, um, although Ryland was using a table to do the selection, you don't... Kind of, yeah, visual. It's you. You can do it in the hands. You don't need a table. You can get the. You can take the joker out. You can do everything in the hands. Else. What? Close up. Yeah, yeah. It's designed for close up. Absolutely. Although you could do it to a bigger group of people. There's three ticks. There's a lot of ticks. It's it's an instant reset. So once you've done it, it instantly instant resets reset. it. Instant reset. Tick. Yeah, it's instantly reset, ready to do again, and it's kind of a really engaging plot. You know, I love the idea of having. I, I, it reminds me a bit. Tick. It reminds me a bit of uh, Cameron Francis's numbered in that you've got the numbers on the back of the cards and you show the numbers at the beginning. But but it's it's not an A can. Let's be honest with ourselves here. It's not an any card at any number in the traditional sense, which is put the cards down on the table, name a card, name a number, deal down. That's the card. It's not like that. But it is basically. A coincidence effect that's really good. Okay, we're not doing any more tips. It's a coincidence effect that's really, really good. I like the idea of doing this on a couple and having like the the man uh, or the oh, oh, I shouldn't say man and woman. No, you know, it might not be. But having the one person in the couple uh, pick a uh, pick a card and then having the other person in the couple pick a number. And then talking about synergy and, uh, you know, let's see if you guys are in sync. I think that would be a great presentation for this. Because I think the problem with any card at any number or any version of any card at any number, the presentation is a bit dry. You're going to name a card. You're going to name a number. We're going to deal down to it. It's more impressive for magicians than it is for laymen. But... Uh, you know, talking about synergy and as a couple, do you finish each other's sentences? Are you ever in a situation where you'll start a sentence, you'll finish it, or you'll both be thinking of the same TV program at the same time, or, you know, you sit down and, uh, you, you know, the, these coincidences, they're not coincidences. They happen within relationships all the time, especially when you're close to your partner. Let's see if this works for you. Let's kind of do a synergy test or a love test. And then you go into this. I think this is great. This is, um, you know, one that you can just carry around in your pocket anytime anywhere instant reset and I want to say you know what um, I still stand by the reviews that I've done of Joseph B's stuff before fooler 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 is the most contrived rubbish terrible trick however this is great this is a real worker. And considering it's not very expensive and it's a download, you could actually have this as a specially printed deck and sell it for £30 and people would buy it for uh, until the cows come home. This is a great trick. I'm giving this 95%. I think this is brilliant. But I think that Joseph B, if you're watching this, and I really hope you are, one, congratulations, this is amazing. Two, I think you need to, you know, be a bit more Richard Sanders and a bit less, a bit less Jay Sankey. Maybe don't release every single idea that you have. And instead, focus on the stuff like this and not fooler, fooler, fooler. Because the problem is, um, I, 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 you know, you've only got one chance to make a first impression. And the first thing I saw of you was fooler, 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 and it's terrible. And then the second thing I saw was average. But if I saw three or four tricks like this, I'd be shouting from the rooftops how amazing you are. But you've got no conjecture. You've got so much stuff out as downloads on Penguin and places like that. It's impossible to know to which one to go to first unless you have someone say, this is good and guide you in the right direction. So, yeah, 95% from me. I think this is great. What do you think? 100. 100% from him. He got 0% on your, your fooler, fooler, fooler. 100% from him. 95% from me. This could have been a lot more as a specially printed deck guys that's this... basically a hundred more better yeah this is great you should buy this this is a really good trick right so the next review we have d4m d4m by matthew wright who is amazing i'm a massive matthew wright fan i think he's brilliant i think he's hilarious and this is a torn and restored card on steroids how much practice have i put into this over the last few weeks uh, if you how much cards are in there? Uh, Mummy walked in one day, didn't she? And there were just folded cards everywhere. I've been like, yeah, like practicing this so like much. Our table is like as big as that table. Yeah, it's massive, and I've and just got full of cards. cards everywhere. So uh, I'm going to try my best at performing this for you guys, and then we'll talk about what we think about it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can go for this. Okay, so Ryde, this could be forced from a deck of cards, but we'll just assume that I've already forced the card. Is that all right? Yeah. And I'm going to show you something incredible. And to be clear, my job as a magician is to, is to create an impossible object. My job 
as a magician is to show you something that you've never seen before, and more importantly, something that you'll never see again. What you're about to see right here is an impossible object. Yeah? Yeah. I want you to watch. I'm going to um, combine magic with origami. You know what origami is? Uh, the art of paper folding. Correct. Um, like when you make your paper airplanes. I'm going to try and show you something weird. Now, first of all, you can see that that card's torn, right? Yeah. Right down the middle. Can you, can you see that? It's important that you can see that, yeah? Yeah. Very good. Now, if I just open it up like that, how's that look? Look good? Yeah. And I'm going to... Tear it again, yeah? Yeah. And I will tear it one more time, which means if you've been watching very, very carefully, you'll see it has been torn into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Watch, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if I can do this. This is quite tough. I'm going to give it a shot. Hmm? First piece done. Mm -hmm. Should we do it again? Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Look good? Yeah. Last piece. <clears throat> this one's the hardest one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right there. One, two. You've got to firm the whole thing together. Three. And just like that, I can create an impossible object which you can examine and you can keep it as a souvenir there you go so that is the routine um i have spent a long time practicing this and it is fantastic ryland's never seen a piece by piece restoration before he absolutely loves this i've done flash restorations for him before but never a piece by piece restoration this isn't an easy routine to do i learned many many years ago guy hollingworth's reparation i actually got it really good um, but then when Cameron Francis bought Rehab out, I actually started doing Rehab because it's a hell of a lot simpler, a hell of a lot easier. And I like to keep things as simple. If there's two options for two routines that look very, very similar, I'll go for the simple option every single time. This is somewhere in between Cameron I'll Francis. The one. Oh, would you? Well, this is somewhere in between Cameron Francis and Guy Hollingsworth. It's kind of round about there. It's not as difficult um, but it's, it's way harder than Cameron's rehab. Uh, but what you do end up with is uh, this wonderful mismade card, which is a great giveaway. And anyone who's done mismade bill will know that this is something that people will keep forever. The disadvantage of this compared to uh, rehab or reparation is that you can't have this signed. But to be honest, you end up in this situation. I don't think it matters. I think I prefer to actually give something out like this as a souvenir. Now, what you get in the deck is you get a whole bunch of gimmick cards you get queen of clubs and you get king of hearts you get enough to last you a very long time because you don't have to give this out as a souvenir if you don't want to you can just immediately reset it by just folding it up putting it in your pocket you reset ready to go again um, but if you do want to plan on giving it away an awful lot you will need to get more, more decks than this you also get a whole bunch of matching regular cards so you get another deck with a whole bunch of queen of clubs in it and a whole bunch of king of hearts in it now uh, I think the first thing we need to talk about is angle considerations. You were looking at this from the side and behind. How did it look? Good. Oh, come on. You were watching it from behind. You saw how everything's done, right? I was actually looking from the front, so I didn't see most of it. Okay, well, you've seen me do it from behind. How does it look? 
bad. Dreadful, right? Uh, you need to be careful of the viewing angles. The viewing angles are about 180. You can't do it in like a circle with yeah. everybody around. Viewing angles are about 180. Now, Ma Matthew, uh, Ma Matthew mainly performs on stage, so I can imagine this playing really big on stage for him. And this is a great stage piece. It's a great parlour piece. It's a great piece if people are a little bit away from you. You wouldn't want to have them like right close up to you. You know those close up gigs where people are smashed in like a sardine tin? Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, you wouldn't want to do it there. Now, for Zoom show, the one of the reasons I've put so much effort into this is because I think this is beautiful for Zoom shows and virtual shows because you can come in really close, but because of the environment, um, they're not going to see a thing. And uh, I think it looks really magical for a virtual show. And it doesn't matter that it's not signed because it's virtual. So I think for virtual audiences, this is great. Parlor, stage, this is something that would play to a big audience. If you wanted to do this close up, that's fine. Big tables would work. Restaurants where you can take a step back would work. But don't expect to be doing this where people are like right in front of you. You need to get a little bit of separation. Now, when Matthew does this, he does this beautifully, as you would expect. It's his routine. Uh, my performance was basically a week of practice, and I think I'm still doing it a bit clunky. But I'm going to continue to practice it because I love this routine. I think it's beautiful. Not that I'm going to stop doing rehab. Not that I'm going to stop doing all the other Torn and Restored cards that I do. But I think this has a place and does things that other torn and restored cards don't. I've never seen a torn and restored... Yeah, yeah, right, yeah? Have you ever seen a torn and restored card before where you put it back together like that? I mean, when Ryan... Bearing in mind, Ryan sees more magic than most magicians, don't you? Yeah. And when I create... When I created it, when I, uh, when I created my first little thing for him and I, he saw this, immediately you wanted that, didn't you? You were like, oh, can I have that? That's so cool. Um, yeah. You know, he just wanted it to put up on his bedroom wall or something, I don't know, but... It's a really awesome giveaway, it really is. I think for a wedding where you've got a bride and groom in front of you, you take a step back and you do it to the head table. I think this would be great. I think that, um, you know, you also don't need to put it in your pocket, in your mouth, sorry. I think I'd put the pieces in my pocket and then go out and get them one at a time. I don't like, just because of the performer that I am, I don't like being in a situation where I've got stuff in my mouth and I can't talk. I'm always talking and it made it very difficult not being able to talk by having it in my mouth. So that's something that you need to consider as well. You can put it into your pocket. It's going to take a lot of practice, but you know what? It's fun. The download that comes with it is brilliant. Matthew is a wonderful teacher. It reminded me a little bit of the old Michael Amar l l tapes because you yeah. had yeah because right listen the first part of the download was him performing it and explaining it step okay. by step then you had him doing it to music from different camera angles so you could really learn it which was i was rewinding and going hang on where's this what's this which hand is this in which hand is that in so it is easy it's it's not easy but no not easy i meant it is hard it is hard i know you said you wanted to learn this didn't you yeah you could learn it but it would take practice a lot of practice now, you'd be able to palm it, no problem. Your problem is you can't palm cards. But in this situation, the cards are folded up. So it's like the equivalent of a coin, which I know you can do. So you classic palm. You don't even need to classic palm. It's more of a finger palm. So you'd be great. Um, it's fun to practice. I'm going to do this. I'm going to carry on working on it. I'm going to carry on practicing it. My goal is to get this into my set by the... Uh, um, in the next two to three weeks. I want to make it perfect first. I performed it to you guys because I didn't want to hold off. I wanted to do the review and I wanted to perform it for you. I hope I didn't butcher it too much. I think I'm I did okay. I'm going to give it 100. You're going to give it 100. You know what? I'm going to give it 95%, 96%. I think it's really good. I think that uh, as long as you're aware of the angle considerations and the, uh, the considerations of where you can perform it, I think this is amazing. This is really good. And again, I know I've said it three times. But I'm going to say it again. It is really fun to perform. Matthew, once again, it's an amazing product. Well done, my hat's off to you. Okay, so next up on the review show, we have Cinemental by Nicholas. Uh, I, last time I, I, I reviewed one of his things, he said I butchered his name. Nicholas Mavarisis. Maver Look, I'm really sorry, dude. You're such a creative guy and I love you to bits, but I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. I really am. Anyway, this is the guy that ha you have reviewed so many of his things. Uh, Destinations. He did Destinations. He did The Collector. He did The Collector. That Remember The Collector? Those two Alakazam. Yes, they're Alakazam. This is not Alakazam. This is Murphy's. Um, this is one of uh, his older items, uh, but we've had a lot of people request that we review this in the comments, and I'd never seen this before. I say older, it came out like earlier, uh, early 2019, so it's not ridiculously old, uh, but I'd never seen this before. And we got it in for review, didn't we? You immediately yeah. jumped on it when you realised who it was. You immediately jumped on it and said, I am going to learn this, not you. You will not learn this. It is going to be me, didn't you? <laughs> Just like this. I am Ryland. Um, so you're going to perform it, right? 
Right, so, dude, the stage is yours. Daddy? Yep. I've got some movie icons where the movie posters, and I've got a prediction. You've got a question mark on. Okay, question yeah. Mark. Okay. No one looks at the prediction. Okay. It goes there. In the corner. Okay. Yes. Okay. You can take the movie icons out. Okay, no problem. So they're like movie posters. Okay. That's all the different things we've got, like, there's 52, but... Okay. We've got loads of them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, lots of different movie posters. Yeah. Okay, how many of these do you know? How many have you seen? Zero, right? <laughs> yeah. We had to watch a lot of trailers before he could do about, this trick. About, 50, well, about 52 trailers. 52, but there is 52 there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get on with it. Okay. Right, so... What I want you to do, after I've turned around... Mm -hmm. I want you to pick up a small amount of cards, mm -hmm. look at the bottom card, and then shuffle them. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay. When I say turn around. Now? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Remember it? Yeah. And then shuffle. Yeah. And then put it, and then when I turn around, you're going to give it to me. Yeah, you go. I'm done. Yeah. Done? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to check that you know your card is in there. Okay. Well, you might have done something sneaky. Oh. You want me to tell you if I see it, yeah? Yeah. At the end. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, Ryan, it's in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Right, so let me think of it. Right, so it's got water in there. Actually, it's not water, it's the sea. Yes. It's got something in the sea. What is that? It's a shark. <laughs> because it has fins and shiny teeth. And where it breathes. Yeah. Yeah, it is a shark. But What's the name of the film? Let me think about it. Jaws! Yes, it is Jaws. Well the done. Shark eats people. It does eat people. Yes, we saw that on the trailer, didn't we? Yes. Yes. You're not. You're not going to be watching that film for a long time. You need to be older. But that was very good. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Okay. Okay. Show. Now, what I don't want you to do is I want you to go through, face down to face up, and you're going to. Deal down. Okay. Okay. Deal cards. Yeah, deal cards. Face down to face up. Okay. And you're going to stop wherever you want to. Anytime I want. Yeah. And okay. Anytime. Yes. There. You want to stop there. So your card is rear window. I've never seen that one. But yes, my card is rear window. And the card after it would have been Fight Club. Fight Club, yeah. Great film. And the one before it is Whiplash. Not seen that either. It's got some drumsticks. It, it has got some drink. drumsticks. It could be. It could be. You never know. Never seen it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. Rear window. Okay. Maybe it's about drumstick hitting people. It might be. You never know. <laughs> no. But rear window. Mm-hmm. Remember the prediction? I remember the prediction. There it is. Rear window. Very good. Come back here, right? So that is, that is uh, Cinemental. Now, it's um, explained very, very well by Tit Titanus on the uh, the download. It's a 45-minute it's a download. It's very nicely produced. Uh, it comes in this box, uh, which you can just put away. It keeps it nice and safe. You've got the download instructions in there, which you don't want. There you go. Keeps it nice and safe in there. And it's very easy to do, isn't it, right? Uh, it's a little bit like yeah. uh, other routines that Nicholas has uh, produced. It is a very, very easy routine to do. It allows you to focus on the presentation. Uh, it actually fooled me the first time I saw it when I saw Did Titanus. It? Yeah, I didn't have a clue how it was done. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> Did it fool you? No. Fair enough. It fooled me. It fooled me completely the first time it I saw the... it. Did it fool the pants off you? It fooled the pants off me. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> uh, when I saw Titanus... It... 
Well, you're going to, you're supposed to be asking me questions. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's easy, right? Yeah. There is some memory work involved in it. It's not difficult to memorise. It's not like a memorised deck, is it? No. But you do have to do a little bit of memory work. Uh, However, you have to there memorize is twenty six things. But it's very easy stuff to remember. Basically sixteen. Yeah, okay, I can see what you're saying. It's more like twenty six. But you've got to memorise some stuff that's very easy to remember. And uh, you do have a little crib that's natural, you know, that you can have on the table while you're actually memorising it. Um that that, that Just helps. Just in case you've forgotten you and you're like <gasps> But I mean you you looked at it like that. But you looked at it and you memorised it in like fifteen minutes, didn't you? But I mean he he memorises his deck of cards, so it's not, not difficult. Fifteen minutes, about five minutes. <laughs> About five minutes. It took him longer to watch all of the trailers. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's very very um, very easy to do. It's a two phase routine. Uh, on the download, they talk about different handlings that you can do, so you can actually do it uh, uh, as a two person presentation or as a one person presentation. If you don't want to do the second phase where you deal through the cards and you have the prediction, you don't have to. You can just do the first phase. Um, um, it is good for close up. It's great. No, it's great for close up. Yeah. It's also great for stage. It's um, oh, the. Yeah, um, it's great one of those big cameras you wouldn't even need a big camera you could just well, what about the back one and like you know when you're talking about mind reading it's not it doesn't need to be visual so if you if i had you think of a movie poster and then i had you visualize it and i read your mind anybody in the big theater could see that it doesn't necessarily have to oh, be oh yeah the front row could be like what and then the back row like oh <laughs> you don't shut up, do you? <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 easy to do. The one negative that I'm telling you. I know you, who doesn't shut up. My sister. That's true. <laughs> but you're just beginning to be as bad as her. Um, the one negative that I'd say is it would take a few seconds to reset. Uh, the That's second phase easy. resets immediately. But the first phase, if you just do the first phase or if you do the first phase and follow it with the second phase, it would take you about 30 seconds to reset. You'd have to go through some cards and just, uh, because there is a stack involved, even though it doesn't look like there's a stack involved because of all of the shuffling and everything, it is very, very clean. But yeah, you would need to spend probably 30 to 45 seconds resetting it. That's not that big a deal, uh, but that's something that's worth knowing. Um, and, and what I like about this, which is the same thing that I like about everything else I've ever seen Nicholas produce, is... It's got an inbuilt hook line. You talk about cinema, you talk about films, everybody likes films. You can get two or three minutes at the beginning just saying, hey, have you seen any of these films? Have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? You can do what Ryland did when you're telling people what the film is. You can describe what's happening. Oh, it's a shark. In your case, I was thinking of Jaws. Um, you can even go into sort of a, a presentation where you talk about mind reading versus prediction and you can talk about having your prediction there. You'll get back to that. But first of all, let me show you what it's like mind, reading minds. Um, it's angle proof. It can be done in the hands. No table required. Uh, it can be done walk around. It can be done. It's great. It's really good. It's only the reset that marks it down for me. It would have been about, you know, easily about 97, 98%. I'm going to drop it down for 90% because the reset is not an instant reset, but it's not completely unmanaged. Manageable, and it is great for pretty much every environment. It would also do really well on a on a on a. On a I'm going to give it a hundred. He's given. I really, 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 really. It's um ten minutes later. Really, 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 really like it. <laughs> There you go. He really, really likes it. All he wants you to do now, Nicholas, is come up with a version that with films that he's seen. You'd need to have <laughs> Star Wars in there. You'd need to have Lego Ghostbusters, Batman. Lego Batman. Come up with the kids' version. Uh, come up with a family version. I think that you'd like that because a lot Christmas of films he's never seen. Christmas Chronicles, have that in there. That'd be really good. Uh, but other than that, it's great. Highly recommended. It's another hit by Nicholas. Uh, well done. Yeah. Bye. Right, okay, so the final review, we have a book review. We've got Jonathan Friedman, The Magic... By Vanishing Ink. By Vanishing Ink. Andy Gladwin and Josh J. They do the best magic books. Uh, the Magic of Jonathan Friedman, The Musical. Now, this is very interesting. The Magic of Jonathan Friedman, the musical, is a follow-up to the hit 1980s called They Want Their Magic Back. Jonathan Friedman fuses his passion for close-up magic with his love for music. Jonathan is also an accomplished magician, musician, a bit like you play the drums, but you also do magic. Uh, the result is a wacky and powerful collection of tricks with a loose theme of music or bands. You don't require any affinity for music or interest in rock to enjoy the collection. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. There's 24 tricks... Uh, they're all 
fairly easy to do. You get your own guitar pick, uh, your own uh, custom guitar pick at the uh, at the start of the book. No, it's my guitar pick because it's used for some of the tricks. And uh, and th first of all, it's a typical Vanishing Ink book. And what I mean by that, is that showing up okay on the camera, Sarah? I want you guys to see yeah. that the, uh, the, the photos are beautiful. The way that it's written is so clear and concise. And there are some absolute stonking routines. I fell in love with the first trick in the book immediately. <laughs> um, the first you fell in love? Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, the first trick in the book, this one right here, is amazing. It's called School of Rock. And the, and the whole idea, right, is that you have someone pick a card and uh, you make a prediction on the card box. So on the card box, you actually write down... That one says Elvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's explaining how it works. But oh. you write down on the card box the... Uh, the name of uh, the name of a, a band or a musician, and you put that over there. The Beatles. And they pick a card, and they pick the Four of Diamonds, and you got Four of Diamonds. Well, you think of Four of, uh, four of Diamonds, you think of the Fab Four, you think of Beatles, and you show the box. Uh, oh no, they've got the Four Fours. That's right. And you show the box, and it's got um, uh, it's got uh, a Beatles written on the card box, Beatles. and you've got the Four Fours. And then what happens is they hold on to the Four Fours between their hands. And uh, you then take the box and you shake, and as you do and rub, uh, Beatles turns into Elvis. Mm -hmm. And they can examine that. It actually has now turned into Elvis, no friction pen or anything. And when they open up their hand, instead of having the four fours, they've got a king of clubs. Like, it is so clever. There is so much really good stuff. There's an ice that production. Uh, no, something else. Uh, there's an ice production. There's a, there's a routine where you actually produce ice. There's a really co commercial routine where you actually have a guitar, a guitar pick and you ask somebody if they know how to play air guitar and you get them to uh, play air guitar with the guitar pick. You have someone pick a card. Um, they, they pick a card. And then you take the guitar pick and you say that you're going to tell, you're going to sing a song playing air guitar with this guitar pick. And it's, uh, the song is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's all about trying to find their card. And when you get to the end, he says, I found your card. He names the card and he said, and look at the guitar pick. And when they look at, when they look at the guitar pick, it's turned into a folded up card, the shape of a guitar pick. And when they open it up, it's their card. Like the stuff in here is brilliant. I'm going to perform one of the routines out of the book, just so you can get an idea of how clever this stuff is. I'm going to perform this one. It's the second from last trick of the book. Home Sweet Home, which is amazing. When I started doing this, when I learned this, I started doing it immediately. It is a very clean version of two in the hand, one in the pocket. So I'm going to perform that for you right now, um, and, and then we'll, we'll carry on talking about the book. At least you're performing it. Yeah, exactly. Right then, I've got a pack of playing cards here, 52 cards. You are going to pick one of these cards, so as I riffle down through the deck like this, anytime you want to, just say stop. That one right there? Yeah. Uh, that's the card. Have a look at it. Show the camera. Do not show me. I cheat. Show the camera. Do not show me. That's the Am card. I to look at it? Yeah, look at it. Remember it. Don't show me. Yeah. Perfect. So if I could tell you the name of this card, would that be good? Yeah. Queen of Spades. Doll you. <laughs> look, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm gonna... I'll punch you in the peanuts. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> you have been watching too much wrestling, my friend. <laughs> right, watch this. Um, focus on this. I'm trying to do an amazing card trick. I'm going to take the card. Are you getting a bit of deja vu right now? <laughs> it feels like it's the first trick I did, right? Uh, I'm going to take the card and I'm going to fold it and tear it down the middle. Then I'm going to take this half and I'm going to tear this half. Do you want me to tear that and then, half? No, you? no, because you're rubbish. Uh, I'm going to take this half. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tear this half. Four pieces. Is that fair? Yes, that is very fair. That is very fair. Any fairer at this point, and you would be cheating me. So there we go. Four pieces. Sarah, can you see the four pieces nice and clearly on the camera? Can you see those okay? Yeah. Good. Ryan, here's what I want you to do. Can you take... This is a receipt. So can you take this piece, and you can have that as a receipt. That was amazing. Now, I want to watch. I'm going to take... Just, just, just hold on to it, but I want you to watch this, okay? I'm going to take one piece here, and I'm going to put one piece into, if I can get into my pocket, one piece into my pocket. How many does that leave here? Two, right? Unless I tap on the pack and blow. Look what happens when I blow. It jumps back. See, now I've still got one, two, three. I'll do it again. Watch. Maybe you didn't know what was going to happen. I'll take this piece right here, yeah? And I'm going to pop it into my pocket. Now, this time, you know what's going to happen. Look, all I have to do is tap, snap, blow, and it goes back. 
Move your hand a bit. I'm going to try and go one more time. This time, you know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to make the card jump from my pocket here. So look, two in my hand, Ryland. One in my pocket. One final time. There's two in my hand, right? Yeah. If I told you I could make this last piece jump back into my hand, would that be good? Yeah. Or I could do this. Watch. No, 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 I didn't make it disappear. What? I made it penetrate, move your hand slightly. Because now, check this out, down in the middle of the deck, there is your queen of spades right back, but not only have the three pieces come back, they have restored, and if you take that piece that you've been holding the whole time, does that fit exactly? It does fit exactly an exact match. Boom, there you go. And you can keep that as a souvenir if you want to. Um, I absolutely love that routine. If I, I did a routine, um, I did a video on this channel a little while ago, three tricks with the torn card that you've probably never seen before. This will absolutely make the list. The next time I bring out a video on torn cards and I do another three more tricks with torn cards you've never seen before, I think this will go in there because I think that is great. I've be, always been a big fan of the two in the hand, one in the pocket type thing ever since I first I read it in Bobo's. It you do it, you do it. You do Doc Eason screwed up with the nuts and the bolts and you do that version of it. In don't fact, you? didn't I have a phone call with him last night? Yes, he rang you up to say goodnight and, 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 and just rang you up to say goodnight, which was incredibly <laughs> random that one of the best magicians in the world is ringing you to say goodnight, but there you go. Um, uh, I, I digress. Yeah, the point is, I've always been a big fan of two in the hand, one in the pocket. I also <coughs> like his card in the glass. Doc Eason? Yeah. You do realise this is not a Doc Eason review right now, right? I know. I know that you love Doc Eason. Mm. Um, but yeah, so you, you, I, I love this idea of doing a two in the hand, one in the pocket with torn pieces. You've given them their pieces as, as, a, as a receipt from the very beginning. And then you have them all, boom, go into the deck and, and the piece match. It's just wonderful. The routine I think it's really good. It's brilliant. And that's the thing about this book. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Every trick is on point. Every trick is brilliant. I could go through every single trick and talk about how amazing it is. This book is getting 100%. If this you like... is getting 100% from me. <laughs> if you like strong, quality, close-up magic that will blow your oh, audiences no, what away... Else is getting 100%? What? The trick. Well, the trick is in the book, if you like. And the thing is, though, if this came, if that yeah, trick... But, that, pop, but you just performed the trick, which is very, true. which is 100%. If, if that trick that I just did came with a really clever gimmick, you would see that for 30, 40 quid, and you'd buy it, and it'd be like, oh my gosh, that's such a commercial trick. Well, that's just one of 24 routines in a book, and all you need to do is a deck of cards. This is such good value for money. Uh, highly recommended, 100%. You really want to get this. This is one of... And I haven't seen many people get this book. It's really good. Um, Vanishing Ink, Jonathan Friedman. Well done. This is brilliant. And that's another you show in the bag. Bag. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Great book this week. Absolutely fantastic book. Really good tour and restored card. Great ACAN. Great download. Um, everything was... Bye. Every yeah, by this. We've both talked and we think that this is the standout of the, of the review show this week. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. Both of us giving it 100%. Um, but really great products this week. First of all, thank you so much for uh, watching the review show, continuing to subscribe to the channel and watch the videos. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Let us know in the comments down below what we think. We uh, read think every single comment. That's another review show in the bag. That's you another review show in the bag. Good job. Thank you. Um, follow him on YouTube. He is The Kid Magician. Follow me on YouTube, you are right now, and I will be back tomorrow with a uh, magic stuff, and then on Friday uh, with a magic rant. I'm Greg. I'm Ryan. Bye for now. Where did that come from? <laughs>